She's with me. Is this your place? We'll dump our bags. Then I'll show you around the place. You can meet my dad. G'day. G'day, Tim. She your girl. You should be home, Tim. Your mother will be looking for you. You is girl. Who wants to know? Oh, this is Tim. He lives here too. Oh, yeah. Are you? Tim. Is she? Hey, hear that? Maybe one of the lines is out. Uh, you think so? Could be. Oh, get him. What a weirdo. That's Tim. Come on. Of his food. Hardly touch a thing this morning. I thought it wouldn't hurt for the dog to take a look at him. Yeah, sure. If he doesn't snap out of it, we might have to do a blood test. I'll keep a good eye on him. Julie. Hello, Nick. Good day. Dad's not in the surgery. No, oh, he's around the zoo somewhere. There's a lot to do this afternoon. And it looks like there is a sick chimp to add to his troubles. Tad. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'll keep an eye out for Dad. See you. Oh, that's the chimp's name. That's a bit off, isn't it? Giving them names. Well, they're just like people. Well, maybe you should be calling a real doctor. Well, Dad is a real doctor. A vet. He'll have Tad right again. He's the best. Oh, look. Well, that's Hoppy. He's been with... Not there, there. Come on. Let's get out of here, eh? What's he doing? A blowpipe? Robin. I don't think we should be here. Shh. So, uh, this is Robin. Robin? My dad. Oh, um... Hi. Dr. Mitchell? Hi. Hey! You owe me. I had to clean out the whole nursery by myself. I've been tied up. So have I. Cleaning cages. Susie. I've got troubles of my own, okay? I'll do it all next time, right? Right, but I'll still make a note of it in the diary, just so there'll be no misunderstanding. Want a ride? Nick? No, thanks. Something's bugging you. Yeah, woman troubles. Him? <laughs> Who's the unlucky girl? <laughs> Robin, someone. I'm afraid I let the team down a little in front of her. Robin Walker? Sounds about right. Robin Walker? But she's ancient. She's got to be every day of 15. <laughs> At least. <laughs> I mean, when a guy brings a friend home, well, he shouldn't really have to introduce her to... Oh, I don't know. Look, why don't we start from the top? Let's do the thing right. Ask her to dinner one night. And you'll be giving the elephant an enema. Look, it's up to you. Anyone home? Oh, hello, Mr. Bennett. Come in. Hi. G'day, sirs. Hi. Oh, I could smell all this over at my place. Smell terrific. What took you so long? I tried to get hold of you at the surgery all afternoon. Yeah, I was, uh, I was tied up. Bogged down, actually. Hmm. Got a bit of a job for you tomorrow. Yeah? A party of international zoo people, all top brass. They want to see over the place. Well, that's your department. You're the boss. I'm going to need help. Spencer got wind of it and he's invited himself along. Well, tell him he can't come. Oh, well, for the days when life was so simple, my love. When someone like Spencer has you firmly gripped by the purse strings. <laughs> that... No, it's his negativity that worries me. So you better be there with the spirit of the party. Okay. 
Thanks. Mr. Bennett. Mm, right. Oh, Mitch, suits will be the order of the day. Suits? <laughs> You're going to be wearing a suit? <laughs> Looks like it. I will ask Robin to come to dinner. Oh, Mitch. Is Julie at university tomorrow? Is she with us? Here. Uh, you can talk into joining us. Me? Oh, she's your assistant. Look, forget it! You came here to learn the zoo business, didn't you? If Mr Spencer, with his antediluvian philosophies on the keeping of wild animals, is to be my mentor, I'd rather remain blissfully ignorant, thank you. Lesson one. Lesson one. No money, no zoo. Now, look, we get funds from the government, gate takings, friends of the zoo and bequests. Mr Spencer manages his late father's very large bequest. We need his money and he comes with it. I can't stand the man. My attitude, based on many long years of experience, is that wild animals should be kept in their place. And that place is behind good solid concrete and strong steel bars. Now, no, Good night, Mr. Bennett. Exactly the kind of thing I'm discussing. Oh, where the hell's Mitch? Oh, he's done it again. And he promised me. Oh, well, he was wearing a suit. <laughs> What's the matter with him? We don't know. It just started with him being off his food. Poor old Tad. When did you first notice the jaundice? Just before I rang you. Let's get him into the ape house. I'll take a closer look. Okay. What do you think? Well, it doesn't look good, Harry. Now, I'm not going to be sure until I've done the blood test, but it'll have to be taken down to surgery. No. My point exactly, gentlemen. Any animal, no matter how primitive its mental process, could get itself out of there. But surely boats are the modern trend, Mr. Spencer. I remember once... Excuse me, Mr. Spencer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I wonder if we could move around the back to the ape house. I've arranged for the chimps to be put in their cages so that you can take a closer look at the moat. Oh, after you, Mr. Spencer. Yes. Thank you very much. No, no, please. Are you coming, Mr. Spencer? I'm thoroughly convinced these animals can get across this moat. And one of these days, I'm going to prove it. No time like the present. Let him out in a few minutes, sir. MZ 10 to MZ 2. Yes, Mitch? Harry, look, can you get down here in a hurry? This animal is giving me a hell of a time. I'm going to need your help. Be right there. Let me out. Let me out. Somebody. Let me out. Somehow. Like you went wearing your good suit. They don't realize you are only trying to help them. Yeah. Spencer seems to be giving Ken and Julie a tough time as usual. <laughs> Spencer. Spencer! Harry! Thank you. 
Mr. Spencer, we were just looking for you. Uh, yes, Mr. Spencer, we missed you. Uh, yes, well, I was uh, <coughs> uh, detained. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, now, this is the private Right. We have a guest. Hello again. Dad. <laughs> oh, you can smell. No, love. You smell. I stink. <laughs> Neat. I reckon we could have more trouble. Yeah? Do you think what Ted's got could be contagious. All of the other showing signs? Beautiful's looking pretty sick all of a sudden. Any sign of jaundice? No. Probably fretting. She is his mate. They always seem to know first. Even before we do. Look, we'll know tomorrow, Harry. Okay? Tomorrow. I'm gonna start the test. Sorry, Dad never got back to say goodbye. That's okay. Dad lost me pretty bad. It didn't seem too bad when I saw it. Wild animals are like that. It's part of their survival mechanism. If they allow any sign of weakness to show, other animals prey on them. Barbaric, aren't they? Ready? What about tomorrow? It's Saturday. So? Roger's pool party. His family's just put in this fabulous new pool. Oh. Sure you wouldn't like to see the rest of the animals? Oh, I've seen most of them. And besides, there is a bit of a smell about the place. You notice it after a while. You can come to Roger's if you like. I'll fix it for you. Oh, bye. Give me a ring tomorrow morning. Quite barbaric. Morning, Harry. It's morning. How's Ted? Not too good. Beautiful of her food already. She will be the next to go if I don't do something about getting a replacement for the old fella. Replacement? Don't talk like that. Tad's not dead yet. You can't just wipe him off, just forget about him. You can't! Tumour of the liver. Putting him down would be the kindest thing. You're the doctor. I've had a look through this list of surplus animals at the other zoos. There is nothing suitable to take his place. Well, let's have a look. He's not unconscious, is he? Mm -hmm. No, no, he's sedated, that's all. I'll be back in a minute. Sure. This is another fine mess you've got us into. It's pretty bad, friend. But you knew that, didn't you? There is nothing that I can really do. See you don't suffer. Not more than you have to. I do the best I can for the others. I promise you that. Sorry, mate. 
Well, you're right. There's nothing here. Well, every zoo's got chimps. Maybe they don't consider them surplus, but they've got them. So the trick's going to be to get them to part with one. Well, how do you do that? Make them an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> you know somebody in the Mafia? Let's think about each zoo, okay? See what animals they are weak on. Whoopity well, deer are pretty hard to come by. Oh, no. That woman, she would not even give me the time of day. I only have five whoppities. Peter's got a point. Two of them are in fawn. We could give two away. In a couple of months' time, you'll still have five. Mitch has got a point. And what happens if there's a birth problem? What kind of vet do you think I am? Look, there are at least three places we know who are short of whoppities. Offer them a couple of your cats. She's not going to be in it. I didn't say I wouldn't be in it. I just said I don't like the idea. Every one of those whoppities a top animal. We know that, Peter. That's why we think another zoo will jump at the chance. In ten weeks' time, I'd better be able to hear the patter of eight tiny hooves. Or else there's going to be big trouble. Thanks. That's one I owe you. It's two you owe me. You've spoken to five of them, and at least a couple of them prepared to think about it. Look, I'm sorry, Harry. Ted's dead. Sorry, mate. they did. You saw how concerned Dad was. I saw how he and Harry are running around looking for a replacement. But they have to do that to help the others. Susie, you know when someone dies, everything else just can't stop still. You don't care. I do. I liked old Tad too. He was a good old bloke. Sorry it had to happen. Yeah. Ah, good day. You were supposed to ring me. I tried. Your phone was always busy. Oh. oh, I was probably talking to Roger. But it's all fixed up. You're invited too. Oh. Well, come on. Look, I'd like to go, but... It's all arranged. Ted died. Oh, the monkey. He was a chimp. Is that why you don't want to come? I just don't feel in the mood for a party. Because of some monkey. Are you in mourning or something? I don't feel like a party, that's all. Do you know how much trouble I had in getting Roger to invite you? What am I going to tell him now? I'm sorry, Robin, but tell him that I couldn't make it. I'll tell him that there was a death in the family. Right, you... You tell him that. I'm sorry she blew up at you like that. Oh. <sighs> what are beautiful's chances of making it without a mate? I honestly don't know, love. I hope she does. Dad, when Mum died, you made it. Yeah. I was a lot younger than beautiful is. Besides, I had these two pretty wonderful kids to help me through. <sighs> Perth? Yeah, well, I mean, how much to bring a chimp from there? Oh, about $2,000. <laughs> Told you the cupboard's bare. However, that's the bad news. The good news is that I have a secret weapon. Good morning. Ah, Bennett. Mitchell. 
You know, I've been thinking, Bennett, there should be steps built up out of that moat, just in case anyone should ever get uh, caught there. But then wouldn't the animals get out? Mm, that's a point, yes. <clears throat> well, what did you want to see me about? Oh, great news, Mr. Spencer. Our overseas visitors the other day liked our zoo so much that we've been invited to host next year's International Zoo Directors Conference. That's good. Wonderful. It's recognition that we are one of the top zoos in the world. Good Lord, of course I always knew that. But whether those foreigners can recognise the fact had me a bit worried. Of course, the zoo will have to be at its peak for the occasion. Oh, indubitably. Animal numbers at full strength. My very word. Uh, but we have a slight problem, sir, with these. Yes, I heard about the death. Now, we must have a replacement, and there is one available. In Perth. Perth? Might as well be on the moon. It cost a fortune to bring it across. $2,000, actually. Uh, we were wondering if the Spencer Bequest might be able to help us out. 2000 Animal numbers must be at full strength. As you so rightly say, Mr. Spencer, we're among the world's top zoos now. Yes. Mitchell, are we sure these will accept newcomers? $2,000, they ought to be delighted. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? His name's Ernie. Did he really come all the way from Perth? Sure did. Well, that's a problem in one branch of the family solved. What about this branch? Any problems? Not now. Nick? What about this beautiful young girl you're trying to forget? What girl? 